Well, hello there. I'm the old growler. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. Uh, what we do here is we take a look at a can of beer, a bottle of beer, sometimes a wine, spirit. They might something might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We take a look at the uh, we take a look at the label. We read everything on the label. We check out the artwork. We see what they're trying to sell us. We crack it open and see if it meets expectations. A couple of things. First off, all of our beers are always at the right temperature. The temperature for lagers should be 37 to 47 degrees Fahrenheit and ales 50 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. I use a Thermoworks thermometer. There's a link in the description box below if you are interested. Also, we always use the same style of glassware for all of our tastings. That way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. And finally, a traditional tasting. One takes a look, one smells, one tastes, one pontificates. Well, I'll pontificate, don't worry about that. But I'm gonna taste first. Why? I'll let wine expert Fred Dax explain it all to you. He does a lot better than I do. All right, <clears throat> let's see, what do we got today? Uh, well, when I was walking down <clears throat> the aisle there in the old beer emporium, uh, checking them out, I picked out one familiar, it was a local uh, Brooklyn brewery, and I saw this, I said, boy, this is a nice sunshiny beer, you know, that's what it is. And I took a look at it, and it's not a beer. Nope. It is a hard kombucha. And I figure since we're all friends in fermentation, I'll put, you, I'll put this right into the friends in fermentation. A nice little group of uh, wines and spirits and other uh, fermented beverages. Uh, and I took a little look here and it's, this is June Sunshine. It's a mango daydream. 6% alcohol by volume, 16 fluid ounces, 473 degrees uh, milliliters. It is a hard kombucha Simple ingredients, real and refreshing. What's inside? Mango, pineapple, orange, chili, green tea, and John Kombucha. Meet Mango Daydream, a hard booch, B-O-O-C-H, I'm sure what I mean hooch, twice brewed <coughs> with a tropical trifecta of juicy mangoes, pineapples, and oranges. Spice just right with a perfect pinch of cayenne pepper. Dream on, brewed by June Sunshine, Inc. 10051 Old Grove Road, San Diego, California, 92131. <coughs> and it has the uh, email address there, and uh, their website, and it says, uh, Recycle for the Planet. The art is by Kuchar. It is a beer. It is, well, yeah, I can see why it comes from the West Coast. It is loaded with nutrition facts. I mean, I got more facts here than I could read in a week. So I'm going to just leave it right there. It's gluten-free. Hey, it's kosher. Uh, contains 3% juice. I would hope so. Ingredients. Filtered water, cane sugar, mango puree, honey, pineapple juice, orange juice, green tea, cayenne pepper, mango flavor, yeast, uh, chum, uh, that chem, chem, chambuca stuff, and a culture. Uh, that's the culture that goes in there. So it's, uh, <clears throat> what am I looking forward to? Uh, well, I'm looking, for, I'm looking forward to a, a tropical slushy. How about that? All right, let's crack it open and see if it meets expectations. Tropical slushy, and I, that is healthy for me. I don't. Well, I don't know. Healthy. It's got alcohol. It's got all the all the kind of good stuff. All right. Well, here we go. Wow! I can. Oh boy! I can smell the the, the pineapple from here. I'm gonna go against the rules here. My rules. No. Nope. All right there. Well, I knew it wasn't gonna have a head, so that's no problem. I can handle that. Uh, it, it's uh, kind of it, it looks like a, it looks like a light kind of a, a lemonade that uh, uh, wasn't filtered or something so what the heck all right well hey it smells tropical let's see if it tastes tropical cheers
Aha. Yes, I took two sips. The reason I took two sips, it's about two in the afternoon on a Wednesday, and uh, my taste buds usually siesta. Well, they needed to be woke. Well, they're woke now. Ha, ha, wow, how, yes. Let's see what their olfactory friends have to say. Oh, okay. Immediate impression, there's a nice piece of mango there. Oh, nice and fresh. Wow, that's what I taste. I don't smell. <coughs> All right. Okay, let's see what the taste buds have to say. Wow. Uh, I'm smiling because this is a chilly drink of chill. Let's see what the. Well, I just think, let's check the, not a beer, so I didn't check the temperature, but it's around 50, de 50 degrees Fahrenheit, so it would be what an ale is. But I tell you, you can chill that down and even a little bit more, you're still going to get the pineapple. I'm getting the mango in the nose, I'm getting the pineapple in the flavor, but what's really fun is that chili. That, that, mm, that kind of, oh, <coughs> wee that's a, that's a one, oh boy, I can, I can understand how this would be one of the, um, um, the LDA, a legal drinking age crowd would be interested in this. I mean, I find it interesting, and I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised, uh, but is June Shine Hard Kombucha Mango Daydream, does it meet expectations? It certainly does. And by the way, we've started rating our beverages one to five. How would I rate this? Well, since I didn't know quite what I was expecting and since it is such a pleasant ending, I am going to say it <coughs> met expectations and it rates a number four. Why not? We're all friends in fermentation. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way you won't miss any of our presentations. A thumbs up would be great, share us with your friends, and a comment would be really appreciated. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.